Are you curious about lasers? Are you trying to decide if you should get one? Trying to figure out what you need to know before you get one? I'm Dr. Lori McCauley from Optimum Pet Vitality, and in this Learn and Go with Dr. Lori, I'm going to cover that for you. Let's talk about laser therapy, whether it be in the clinic or at home. People ask me all the time, what laser should I get? How do I know if this is a good laser? Are the ones on the internet as good as the ones from the companies you recommend? Well, let me tell you, I have a lot of information with, for you. Let's start with, what is cold laser? What is the difference between true lasers and LEDs? Honestly, a lot. Laser, by definition, is light that is all one wavelength. That means that the, the waves of light are all the same size and speed. The beam is collimated. All the photons are parallel as they come out of the laser. And the light is coherent, which means the waves of light don't interfere with each other. All in all, these properties allow the light to penetrate into the tissue. Depending upon other variables, laser can penetrate from millimeters to inches deep. LEDs, on the other hand, they don't have the same properties. So they don't go too much below the skin and don't have the same effects. Many units on the internet say laser in their marketing, but when you look at the specs, they're not. When we talk about true lasers, there are cold lasers that create healing properties in the body and don't create heat. Now some lasers do create heat, these are class four lasers and should only be used by veterinary professionals. Laser therapy can be used for pain management associated with arthritis, post-injury or surgery, or really any cause. It decreases or gets rid of inflammation. This can be in the mouth, the ears, the joints, or anywhere. And it heals wounds in about half the time. Laser works at a cell level helping each individual cell do whatever it needs to do. It decreases pain by having a direct effect on the nerves. And it also increases healing by increasing blood flow into the area. Surgical lasers are lasers, but they actually cause so much heat in a tiny little space that it causes the cells to evaporate. This makes for an almost bloodless surgery. And as it evaporates the nerve endings, that are cut by the laser light, there's a minimal pain post-surgery. Overall, each type of laser offers specific advantages, and the best choice depends on your pet's individual needs. Class 3B laser therapy, the kind so many pet parents are doing at home to help their pets, is a non-invasive, pain-free option that can significantly enhance your pet's quality of life. Consult with your veterinarian to determine the most appropriate laser treatment for your furry friend. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time.